Hey guys, it's Dr. Mona, and today's video is a little bit different than what I usually do. I'm, I'm obviously driving. We are being safe. Julia is filming. She's right next to me. Hello. No haters <laughs> because um, we yeah, are at a no red hate. light. So anyway, I wanted to film this video on how to stay zen on the go because I know for me, living in LA, I'm literally always driving. Um, if you're in any city where you're driving a lot or just in your car, the traffic alone can raise your stress. There's so many things that can increase your stress. So I thought this would be a really cool video to share things you can do on the go to stay calm and keep your zen. Okay, so first of all, just stress in general. I have done a lot of videos based around different kinds of stress. Um, it's super, super important to manage, even if you don't necessarily feel like it's bad. Like any form of stress can lead to other things that in your body, like physical stress, emotional stress. So that's kind of the theme of this. Staying zen and just preventing you from getting there uh, to getting there is super important. So the first one I wanna mention really quick is working out. Obviously you're not gonna be doing this in your car, um, but I got my workout in this morning and I've talked about workouts in the morning for years. Um, it's so important, it so sets the tone of your day and if I rush out the door and I'm in traffic and I haven't gotten my workout in, I swear to God I can just feel it. I'm, I'm like anxious, I don't feel as like good. Number one, you feel accomplished. Number to your body feels like you got movement and circulation you got oxygen moving and blood circulating and everything just feels better so definitely try to get some kind of movement and even if it's just a little sweat you can do something like online in your living room that will set the tone for the rest of your day so first things first is a workout so foreign then you see my girl you know she foreign i'm in lauren you've been wearing tommy got it foreign you so boring i've been up and working that is foreign i've been I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. Morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now. I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, storming. yeah. and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Vroom, vroom, tell them I'm my lane. I've been praying, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Daily, I've been going, moving right past all these lanes. I just, I just sat and waited patiently, yeah. I just, I just gave them what they can see. The next thing I wanted to talk about is guided meditations. Now, I do want to preface this this is not a meditation where you at all close your eyes at a red light or anything. There are certain guided meditations that are really good for driving. I actually don't like guided meditations for my regular meditation. Like I prefer sitting in silence like TM, but um, there are so many apps. I really love Headspace. I'm gonna um, play one I can show you an example. Great guided meditations. You can listen and they're specifically meant for driving. So they're like targeted with like, you know, the energy and the words you're saying and what you can take in. Um, just really good to keep you focused on the road and just even like reflect while you're driving and stuck in traffic. I feel like meditation on the go isn't talked about as much. Um, you know, I think a lot of, especially if you're new to meditating, you think like it has to be sitting at home, um, you know, lights off, quiet, which like when you get to that level, that's amazing and enjoyable. But the purpose of guided meditations for me is to relax in that moment. Whereas TM, which is like a deeper meditation, is to do a lot of great stuff for your body, your brain waves, release stress. So that's more of a long-term benefit. Whereas a guided one is that experience. And personally, it's never really lasted me longer than that experience. So that's why I think it's perfect for driving because if you're in a traffic jam, if you're agitated about anything or whatever, you're just on your commute to work or running errands like we're running right now, you can just throw on a guided meditation and it will totally shift your mood and energy. What it is that's left you feeling overwhelmed right now. Just take a moment to yourself to pause, undisturb. Just begin by taking a big deep breath, breathing in through the nose, noticing how the body expands as it fills with air and as you breathe out through the mouth, just gently closing the eyes, just allowing the breath to return to its own natural rhythm. And we're just going to imagine that all that thinking, all the sensations, emotions, physical tension in the body it's just going to begin to melt away i'd like you to imagine a steady stream of warm sunshine flowing down through the head into the body it's as though as it travels into the body it just dissolves any of that thinking any of that feeling it's refreshing the body 
So the next thing I want to talk about is essential oils. And um, there's specific essential oils that I like for the car. I'm going to show them the brand. Yes. It's called Refresh Your Car. So I'm a huge fan of essential oils in general. Um, I have oil diffusers at home. I have regular ones. I just apply um, like wellness oils. So I used to just think essential oils were like pleasant and smelled nice like when you got a massage. But they're so powerful. Number one, your skin, I know everyone's heard this, your skin is a huge organ, but it absorbs things. I mean, there's prescription drugs you can put on your skin that go through. So they are actually powerful. Number two, inhaling is almost the most powerful way to take in any kind of medication. Um, we have a blood brain barrier that does not, it's not accessible when you inhale. So things actually go straight to your brain and are absorbed even faster. When you eat something, it has to get digested and metabolized. So when you're inhaling an essential oil and that smell, it can immediately bring you a sense of calm and wellness. There's so many great benefits. So having this in your car is amazing. Um, I really like this brand because it's not just an air freshener that's toxic, that smells good. It's actually serving a purpose and giving you that wellness. I really like the lavender because lavender is super calming and I'm all about being zen, especially on the go. So that's the scent that I chose. So I like to keep the air freshener right here next to me. Um, maybe you can show them, Julia. I, I know a lot of people hang them on the mirror. It's not really my style. I think right next to me is cool. Um, I can smell it more. Um, like I said, the one that I have is lavender. I'll definitely put a link below this video so you guys can check it out if you want to. So next I want to talk about a good snack to help with anxiety and I've got some almonds right here. So first of all, just having a little healthy snack with you in general is so smart because number one, like munching kind of occupies your mind, but if you're munching on the wrong things and you're eating unhealthy food, that's just going to cause more stress and damage in your body because remember there's different forms of stress. There's the emotional stress you feel like in the traffic, but then there's wear and tear and stress on your body that's just gonna make it not function as, as well for you and that will affect everything because we are all, you know, everything's connected. So I really like almonds because they're healthy, they're filling, um, then you won't be starving in traffic. Also, there's a good little health tip with them. So almonds have vitamin E. Um, they're abundant in vitamin E, which isn't only amazing for your skin and moisture, but it's also really good for anxiety. Oh my God, there's a tour bus going by. <laughs> Guys are famous on our vlog. <laughs> um, anyway, they are really good for anxiety. Vitamin E has been known to help stress and anxiety. So any snack like that that can just help a little bit, I feel like it's just kind of a win, win, win. And I always keep like a little something I call it for like a food emergency, especially if you're vegan or vegetarian, you don't have anything else to eat. So the next thing I want to share is some kind of warm beverage, um, specifically tea I like, but there's just something about, um, it's almost like going back to the snacking thing, how when you are bored in traffic and you need something to munch on, I find that sipping tea is just so grounding and calming in general. Even when I'm home, it relaxes me. So I always bring one with me. I have it in my little thermos here. It keeps it really warm. I also will bring extra tea bags with me and I'll stop at like a Starbucks or wherever I see and just get hot water. It's literally free. It's like, or if they charge you 20 cents for water or something. Um, something to do while you're driving. It's soothing, it's calming. Um, you can get green tea, herbal teas, anything you want. Coffee can do it too. Sometimes it's just kind of like that cozy, warm drink and it literally makes the drive better. I've, I've even looked forward to long commutes because I know I'm getting my latte or like tea in the morning. So that should show you something. The last tip I have is kind of a nice one and it's really just taking that time while you're on your commute or driving to call your family or close friends. I find it so helpful and also productive, which is a win-win because I love productivity. Um, I will call my mom or dad only like when I'm driving because sometimes I'm busy and you know, you, it's good to catch up with your family or even like my friends from college or something. When you're driving is literally the perfect time. Now, I don't recommend making the stressful phone calls necessarily because if we're working on Zen, that's not gonna help. But calling your parents, getting like a nice talk in, like, you know, what else are you gonna do in traffic? You're driving, so you might as well use that time wisely and you don't have to tell your family why you're calling because you're in traffic. Just let them know that you called. So just a quick recap on how you can stay zen on the go, little things that I like to do. We've got the guided meditation, we've got the essential oils, bringing healthy snacks that can also reduce anxiety like almonds, drinking a nice warm grounding drink like tea or coffee, and then of course calling your family and friends and just telling them you love them and you know receiving love back. So I hope these tips helped you. Also, let me know if you like these new videos. I've been experimenting with vlogs and I feel like some do well, some don't. So I really want to know your opinions on it if you kind of like the more real on the go stuff. Um, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. I will link the essential oils below this video also. 
please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.